Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Hi sweetheart. sweetheart. It's pretty late. Why haven't you gone to bed yet? I couldn't sleep, Mom. I really want to hear a story before I go to bed. Can you tell me another story tonight, Dad? Not tonight, darling. I'm not ready to tell a story at the moment. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll tell you a story tonight. Look, there's a book on the table in front of us. It's your grandma's memories book, filled with all the adventures she had in her life since she was 14 years old. Wow! Really? That sounds awesome! I want to hear about grandma's adventures. Yeah, that sounds like an exciting story. I can't wait to hear it too. Go ahead, Mom, we're all ears. Tell us about Grandma's adventures. Are you both ready to hear about Grandma's adventures? Yes. yes. Great. Let's get comfortable, and I'll start sharing the amazing tales from your Grandma's memories book. Get ready for some thrilling adventures. Okay, okay Mom. Mom. All right. Let's get started. Hi. My name is Mira. When I was just 14, my father made a big decision that changed my life forever. In our old village, we faced drought and hunger. He worried more about me than himself and my mother. They were afraid that something bad might happen to me or that we might get separated because of the sudden poverty in our village. So, we left for a distant and unfamiliar place, a cold village among tall mountains where it snowed all the time. In our new home, we felt safe and peaceful. Despite the cold weather, my father believed that dealing with the cold was far preferable to dealing with poverty and hunger. One day, after a delicious lunch, my parents went to their room to take a nap. I sat on a comfortable sofa in front of the fireplace, feeling warm and cozy. But I couldn't sleep, and I became curious. So, I decided to explore the house. I walked around the bright rooms until I saw a dark and mysterious room. Even though I was a bit scared, I couldn't stop myself from going into the dimly lit room. It was dusty and dark, making it hard to see. I walked in with slow steps, barefoot on the wooden floor. I looked around, feeling the strangeness of the dark room. Then, I noticed a weird door on the floor, something I had never seen before. I became more curious and decided to open it to find out what was inside. I didn't know that this action would separate me from my family forever because of my curiosity. When I opened the door, I saw stairs leading down. I felt a mix of happiness, fear, and curiosity to know what was there. Even though it was darker, I decided to proceed. Suddenly, my feet slipped and I rolled down the stairs in the dark for a long time until I landed in front of a wooden door. It turned out to be a prison door, and inside the bars, there was a lonely person, a stranger who was imprisoned. I looked around and realized that where I fell was not the same place I came from. It was a different world, a world of magic and enchantment. The prisoner started speaking to me, but I couldn't understand what he was saying. However, I could tell from his serious expressions that he wanted to be free urgently. He seemed powerful, and I could sense that something dangerous was happening. Even though I couldn't understand everything, I knew it was important to help him escape, not just for his sake but also for the safety of someone else who might be in trouble. He talked to me and pointed to a small box nearby. I walked to the box and opened it, finding keys inside. 
It dawned on me that those keys were for the prison door. I used the keys to unlock the door, and the prisoner got his freedom back. He ran quickly, and I followed him to find out what was happening. Together, we started a journey which was unknown for me, using gestures and expressions to communicate because I didn't understand his words. But I knew something dangerous was going on from his efforts to explain. As we got closer to a big and scary mountain, I saw various creatures getting ready for a big war among themselves. Then, things started to make sense to me. As we moved closer to the center of the upcoming battle, I understood why he was imprisoned. He used to be a protector of peaceful creatures, but his strong desire for fairness caused him to clash with those who wanted power and wanted to bring darkness to the world. Now, it was easy to see that he was crucial to changing the outcome of the big battle that was coming soon. A big fight was about to happen, with humans, elves, monsters, and vampires all trying to be the most powerful. During the big and frightening battle, the mysterious prisoner showed his real strength, using his powers to protect the good forces. It was amazing to see him bravely fighting against the evil vampires and monsters who had surely kept him inside the prison. As the sun went down, the big battle reached its most intense point and the bad forces were defeated in the end. The world was saved from almost being destroyed, and the land became peaceful and safe. Feeling thankful for my part in this victory, the humans and elves hugged me as a hero because I had set their true hero free from the prison. Their admiration and acceptance made me feel like I belonged and I knew I had found a new home in this amazing world. Even though I didn't understand their language and I was still confused about how I ended up here accidentally from my world. I stayed with them and looked at their unusual appearances, especially the elves. The prisoner was also different. He didn't belong to the elves or humans. I didn't know exactly what kind of creatures he was, but I could tell that he was kind and likable. I knew that even if I tried to tell them I came from another world, they wouldn't understand me. So, I decided to stay with them until I learned their language, and then I would ask for their help to go back to my family and my world. And that's how your grandma unexpectedly found herself in a strange and unknown world due to her bravery and curiosity. So, what's your opinion? Did all of this really happen to grandma, or did she just imagine it? As I mentioned before, this is your grandma's memories book, and all these events truly happened to her. You'll get to know all about her through this book. Your grandma was indeed an extraordinary woman. Her story is incredibly fascinating. Grandma was so brave. I wish I could have joined her on that adventure to the strange world. Mom, please, can you tell us what happened next? Did Grandma manage to return to her snowy village? Did she meet her parents again? It's getting late, my boy. You should go to bed. Don't worry, sweetheart. Just like your grandma's curiosity, your curiosity is commendable too. But it's time to sleep now. We'll continue discovering more of her story tomorrow night. Okay, good night, mom. Good night, dad. Good night. Sweet dreams, my dear. Good night. <laughs>